Shamima. Hello. Take a seat. Until our conversation this morning, Shamima Begum had assumed she was coming back to Britain. Have you heard anything new about your case? No. I only get um, information about my case every time a journalist comes to me. What was the last information that you'd heard? That not everyone wants me to come back and it might take a bit of time for me to come back. Well, um, I've got a letter mm. that was sent to your family mm. yesterday. Okay. They got this in the post. Okay. But I'd come here with a copy of the letter sent to her parents yesterday, stripping her of British citizenship. <coughs> Please find enclosed papers that relate to a, a decision taken by the Home Secretary to deprive your daughter Shamim Begum of her British citizenship. In light of the circumstances of your daughter, the notice of the Home Secretary, Secretary's decision has been served on file today, 19th February and the order removing her citizenship has subsequently been made. Okay then. What do you think? Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm not that shocked, but I'm a bit shocked. So I don't know why my case is any different to other people. Or is it just because I was on the news four years ago? It's kind of heartbreaking to read. I, I thought it would, my family made it sound like it would be a lot easier for me to come back to the UK when I was speaking to them in Barros, but it's kind of, it's kind of hard to swallow. I feel like it's a bit unjust on me and my son. But yeah. But, the, but you've done this to your son. I mean, th this is a consequence of your actions. Uh, I don't know what to say. Not so. And within 10 minutes of hearing the news, she was speculating about alternatives. My husband is from Holland. He has family in Holland. Maybe I can ask for citizenship in Holland. If he gets sent back to prison in Holland, I can just wait for him while he's in prison. But there's no other option than that. And what about the impact of her sudden departure on the family she left behind? Do you regret ruining their lives? Hmm? Do you? Yeah. I've seen the impact it's had on them after I spoke to them. But, yeah. After a while they got over it and the guilt kind of went away. Your guilt went away? Yeah, and I just forgot about it. But they didn't get over it? They slowly got over it and they had to accept that I came and they had to accept the decision I made. No, I mean, they haven't, they haven't got over it. I mean, they're, they're still devastated. Yeah. She seemed dazed, shocked, but in control, except she's not. This is home for now. Her future, her nationality are unclear. Rohit Katru, ITV News, Northeast Syria.